Well, it was supposed to be one of the crown jewels in Evanston, the Fountain Square Plaza, but after millions of dollars in investments, the fountain remains dry. And yet city leaders have found at least one silver lining. Why? We turn to our Vince Girasoli for the answer. Vince. Rob and Erica, Fountain Square should have a fountain, but right now it doesn't. And nobody's happy with how long this project is taking. It's about nine months past its original due date and construction was many months more. But for every day construction continues here, the city can deduct a chunk of change from what it owes the contractor. And right now that's totaling about $178,000. Remnants from a morning rain are about the only water you'll find in Evanston's Fountain Square. I think everybody in Evanston's frustrated by it. The nearly $6 million rehab plaza is almost complete, but the city can only describe what its centerpiece fountain should look like. Well, the jets will come up and they'll go up different heights. Completion was expected last December and then moved to May. One problem, the contractor forgot to test the pipes before laying costly bricks and stone. In a summer marred by construction crews and delayed celebrations, one consolation to taxpayers is a penalty clause in the city's contract. We're charging $1,425 a calendar day for not completing the project. It amounts to $178,000 to date, and if it stretches another 30 days, the city can deduct another $42,750 from the bill for a grand total of $220,750. Construction, they called it. Brian Houston's Boltwood restaurant looks out on the square. When you're looking out at safety cones for, you know, six months, a year, it's tough. He remembers the day two weeks ago when the waters flowed in a test for just a moment. I think I screamed to the rest of the staff, hey, the fountain's on, then it was off. Contractors say last minute tweaks to the fountain software should take another month, but the city says it's become accustomed to being left high and dry. This contractor has amazed me in not completing anything on time, so nobody's certain. Now, the contractor Copenhaver wasn't chosen at random. They've completed several projects in the western suburbs where communities like Aurora have very good things to say about them. And, and you know, this project, they don't know exactly when it's going to be done, but I point out one more thing to you. That's a veterans memorial. It has nothing to do with the contractor. but. Uh, the glass on this memorial has busted twice uh, in shipment, so they haven't even been able to unveil that project, but they're hoping, at least by December, everything will be up and running. Reporting live from Evanston, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. Yeah, smart to have that clause in that contract. Thank you, Vince.